May the peace, grace, and abundant love of the Lord be poured upon all of us today and every day of our lives. Welcome, dear followers, to tonight's episode of our faith journey. Let's prepare our hearts, still our minds, and open our souls to the divine wisdom that the Almighty is waiting to share with us. Remember, we gather here not as strangers, but as a spiritual family joined in prayer and reflection. Amen, Bishop. This is Pastor Elias, warmly joining in as we journey together in prayer and reflection tonight. Tonight, my dear brothers and sisters, we turn our hearts towards all those who long for rest, all those struggling with the affliction of insomnia. We will delve into the deep teachings of Psalm 34, through which we seek God's mercy to bless the sleepless nights, bringing comfort and peace. Guided by the scriptures, we will rise in a powerful prayer of tranquility and calm, trusting that the next day will bring renewed energy to face our everyday challenges. Yes, Bishop. We unite our hearts and voices in this benevolent prayer, asking our mighty Creator to restore peaceful nights to those burdened by insomnia. Can't wait to delve into our profound reflection and heartfelt prayer. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, we turn our attention to a verse that serves as a balm for weary souls. Psalm 34. Pause for a moment and let the power of that invocation settle in your spirit. It's an echo of praise that resonates through history, a testament of gratitude towards our merciful Father. Here, David reveals the eternal fountain of God's protection and guidance that soothes our tribulations and shines a light, even amidst the darkest tunnels of life. This psalm, my dear family, is not just a passage, but a raft upon the tempestuous sea of life's challenges, a raft which will carry us to the safety and comfort of God's welcoming shores. Absolutely, Bishop. Psalm 34 is such a source of comfort, especially during the darkest hours. So now let's raise our hearts and voices together as we delve into this profound time of prayer. As we continue with our journey of prayer, I would like to invite you all to share your prayer requests or the names of your loved ones in the comments below. Together we will lift these names up. Together as a family in faith, we will present them before the throne of God. And if our time of reflection and prayer tonight touches your heart, let us know through your likes and let others know by subscribing and turning on notifications. We are actively growing our prayer family here and your involvement truly matters. Remember, my dear brothers and sisters, we are a strong community, a support system for each other, and together, hand in hand, we walk towards the divine light of God's grace. May God bless you all abundantly. And remember, you are never alone on this journey. We are here, praying with you and for you. Pastor Elias Joao, would you honor us by reading Psalm 34 in its entirety? I know our listener community finds great comfort and strength in these words, and hearing them read aloud can truly deepen our connection to this sacred verse. Absolutely, Bishop. Friends of faith, as I read, I encourage you to be fully present in this moment. Pray along with me, repeating the words in your heart, or simply absorbing their meaning and divine wisdom. Let's journey together down the path Psalm 34 lays before us. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Of David, when he changed his behavior before Abimelech, so that he drove him out and he went away. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant, and their faces shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him have no lack. The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, O oh children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there who desires life and loves many days, that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous and his ears toward their cry. The face of Lord is against those who do evil, 
to cut off the memory of them from the earth. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He keeps all his bones, not one of them is broken. Affliction will slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. Amen. How comforting it is to hear this prayer, how deeply it touches our hearts. I always find myself moved when reading this prayer. It's a powerful reminder of the divine love and strength that pours forth from God, reinvigorating us and filling us with hope in these early morning hours. I encourage each one of you listening to share this prayer with your dear ones. Please take a moment to send this prayer from Psalm 34 to those around you, family members, friends, colleagues. We never quite know the extent of the needs and struggles others may be facing. Think of every 10 people you share this with. Imagine if at least one of them deeply connects with the powerful message contained within these verses, leading them towards the path of God's grace. Imagine if others begin to feel the divine blessings flowing over their lives, bringing about transformation and renewed faith. What a beautiful thing that would be through simple acts of sharing God's word, we can spread hope and solace to those who need it most. Amen. I encourage each one of you to take some time from your day to connect with nature around you. Whether it's a park nearby, a small garden, or even just looking out of the window at the sky above and the trees around. In these moments of tranquility, I ask you to reflect upon the verses of Psalm 34. Observe how every leaf, every breeze, every bird on, all of creation, proclaims the glory of God. Let us remember that we are a part of this wondrous creation, and let us find solace in the knowledge of God's grace and bounty. I have a gentle suggestion for all of you. Make it a point to return to this prayer and listen to it each day before you rest for the night throughout this week. Let these divine words be the last you hear before closing your eyes for sleep. You'll find that this small act can invite countless blessings into your life. Remember, the power lies not just in the prayer itself, but also in the intention and frequency with which it is pursued. Blessings to all. I urge you to take on this challenge, dear friends. Listen to this prayer for seven days straight. Seven, as we learn from the scriptures, is God's number. It symbolizes perfection, the divine order, and completion. Imagine the potential transformation that can happen within us if we connect with God's word, with this prayer and embodiment of his word for seven consecutive days. It would be a magnificent spiritual journey indeed. I genuinely believe that such an intentional and dedicated act of devotion can bring profound clarity and peace into your life. I wait with eager anticipation to hear about your experiences. May the blessing of God be upon each one of you. Whether you are at the start of your day or at the end, whether you are alone or with your loved ones, God's all-encompassing love and grace resides with you. And remember, you are the created masterpiece of the Most High God. Every moment you experience is part of His plan. Now I leave you in the hands of our beloved Pastor Elias for our final thoughts. Thank you, Lucas. Let me express my gratitude to our listeners from all around the globe. Your faithfulness to our faith journey brings an immeasurable amount of joy. Remember, it's utterly vital for you to subscribe and stay updated with us. With every new podcast, we aim at bringing a little more of God's Word into your life. So to all our beautiful listeners, I say, may God bless you abundantly. Until our next prayer, walk in love, live by faith, and keep your spirits high in the knowledge and experience of God's love. Lastly, let's not forget those of you who might have trouble sleeping. May your burdens be light and your sleep be restorative and peaceful. Also, for those burning the midnight oil, studying, working, or keeping a prayerful vigil, remember, your hard work, dedication, and vigilance will be rewarded. God's grace is sufficient for you, and His power is made perfect in our weakness. May God's blessings follow you throughout the night and into another day. Take care, and remember, you are beautifully and wonderfully made. Good night, everyone.